Oh man, it's gonna be a good time. Oh, what's going on with your YouTube drummer Chris here? We're coming back at y'all with another vid. Today I want to talk about something that is dear to my heart, my childhood. Basically growing up, if you guys didn't know, Michael Jordan was basically my hero growing up. That was my guy, like an icon. Like people don't understand growing up, like Michael Jordan was such a huge superstar and it was just him like you know growing up watching him and play, you know in, in these all these commercials the shoes the you know the games win in championships this that like oh my lord like michael jordan was everything especially to some of those old heads out there man like michael jordan was the guy to us for real of course my childhood the space jam movie is was like i believe it came out like 96 i was like the cusp of when Michael Jordan was coming back from his uh, retirement and everything from baseball, coming back, winning championship back and you know, going 72 and 10, like, and also him teaming up with like, you know, the Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny and everything, like, like put two and two together when you was a kid, like that was a mind blowing. So that was just amazing. And of course we got some news in the video of the whole LeBron James is gonna be in the next Space Jam too. You know what? I, I know a lot of, you know, MJ heads out there were all feeling a certain way about it, but you know what, man? I'm not trying to be all negative about it because I honestly, I might go see it. I'm probably going to go see it. I don't care. Well, you know what? I, I'm not a big LeBron James fan by any means. I made that well known. So hopefully all the LeBron fans out there, you don't hate on this video. Growing up, you know, Michael Jordan was my guy. I'm sure LeBron to all the new generation, that is your guy. And this is the big back and forth. Who's better? LeBron, MJ, so on and so forth. Even, even though Michael Jordan is better. I mean, we all saw the last dance, right? Like, come on. I'm just playing, alright, I'm, I'm just kidding, but like, for real, I think this is it's exciting, this is an exciting time, exciting, you know, movie and, and, and everything, just for the new generation, honestly, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be good, hopefully, we'll, I wonder what the story and everything's gonna be about, because it was kind of perfect with the whole Space Jam, you know, as in like, because Michael Jordan was playing baseball at the time, and of course he came back playing basketball, and they kind of ran with the storyline. Then he was, you know, he played for the Looney Tunes and played against the, the Monstars and, and all that. And then got him to come back and play basketball and win a championship because he's that good because he beat the Monstars. You feel me? Or with LeBron James, will they go back to when he was with the Miami Heat, that storyline, and then Looney Tune that way? I, I don't know. Or uh, when he was, you know, coming back from Miami Heat to Cavaliers and won that championship. Like, I wonder what storyline they will use. I'm pretty interested to see about that. And also, if you remember the original um, Space Jam is when Monstars had to take you know the talent and, and everything from other superstars at that era back in 96 you know it was what was it Muggsy Bo, Charles Barkley, uh, Patchy Ewing, some other people I can't remember. Um, I wonder who's gonna be in this one with LeBron James you know like I, I, I'm, I'm hearing rumors it was uh, Lillard's gonna be in it, I think. Uh, AD, I'm pretty sure, even though it's his teammates. So I wonder how they're gonna do that storyline. That would be interesting, right? Uh, I would like to see, you know, one of the people who, like, who would you guys like to see? I would like to see, you know, um, Steph Curry, of course, James Harden, Kent, Kent, you know, one of my favorite players. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's so many good players out there. <laughs> like, my goodness. By Leonard, you know? Not sure if they announced it or anything like that, so I, I didn't really do too much research. I just kind of saw this. I didn't really do too much in Like I said, I'm not a big LeBron fan out there, okay? You know, MJ, that's my guy. But I wonder who's gonna be in the cast and who they take, you know? It'd be really interesting to see. Photo of the actual jersey, the, you know, the Toon Squad jersey, you know what? It's cool. I feel it, you know? It's a hype. You know, the original is like more just that white and just reg regular, but you know, of course they had to do something kind of different now. We're in a different time, 2020. I mean, but still, you gotta go with the OG, right? You gotta go with the OG, the OG jersey. Like seriously, I mean, can't, can't beat that, honestly. If we're gonna talk about jersey, we gotta talk about the shoes, right? You know, it's a sneaker channel, of course. The Space Jams. This is definitely one of my favorite colorways. Jordan Lim is one of my favorite silhouettes in the Space Jams. I do have, the originals, they, you know, the OGs, the 2000 joints, and then I got the 2009 the low cuts, and of course the one that came out a couple years ago was the 2000, 2016. And this, like I said, it was near dear to my heart because growing up as a kid, like, you know, 
having these shoes here and you know you kind of think like man you know what i could be mj i can kill beat everyone in this court yeah that's right i could jump i could dunk Yeah. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't go too well. Nah, I'm I'm Asian. I can can't do that. No, I'm only five six. But all, okay, on a serious note, the you know the Space Jams. These are the forty. You know this one came with the forty five. I believe the rest are twenty three. But you know, like seriously, all black Jordan Eleven. The year he came back, one of the best silhouettes out there for Jordans. And you guys already know, especially during holiday seasons, the Jordan Elevens always goes crazy, always goes hard, man. So LeBron James, now he's coming out with his own Space Jam movie. He better come out with something good, man. Like some dope LeBron. Like will we bring something back or something? You know what I mean? Like what was the best LeBrons out there? I don't really have any LeBrons, so I really wouldn't know. So what is your favorite LeBron? Like what would you guys like to see? Maybe he bring back, like you know, a LeBron nine. I think those th those are people who really like. But I'm not a LeBron fan, you know. But that doesn't mean I don't like him or anything, or like I don't disrespect or anything like that. Like I'm actually rooting for LeBron to win this year with the Lakers because you know with the whole Kobe thing like that. I hope the Lakers win it this year. I really do. And speaking of Kobe, I wonder why, um, like, how come they didn't do, like, a Space Jam 2 with Kobe back, you know, like, back when he, you know, was at his high point, you know? Or was it a point because maybe, like, since everyone always thought that Kobe was, like, the clone of Michael Jordan, and then if he did a Space Jam, would, be, would that be too much, you know? So I'm just kind of wondering about that, if anyone have any information. But that, that would have been uh, neat, like, you know, uh, Space Jam, and then Kobe, and then, you know, the sequel after that, number, the Trilogy 3. You know, I did hear some news that it's looking like Michael Jordan won't appear in the movie. And I think he was offered like a hundred million dollars or something like that crazy just to appear on it, on the movie. But of course, I think he had to like advertise or do something like a two hour appearance or something like that. And he said, nah, I'm, not, I'm good. hundred million dollars. I don't need it. I'm Michael Jordan. A billion. Shh. Man, off me a hundred million dollars, man. I will swim across the whole sea and wherever you want me to do man i do it <laughs> i think it would have been just nostalgia and just with everything if michael jordan would have made appearance in the next uh, space jam movie i think that would have been good but i think uh, i'm not sure if jordan would associate with lebron i don't know that would have been that would have been maybe a little too much or something i don't know i think it would have been crazy though if, if something would have happened if if MJ does show up in the movie or maybe they're doing something secret or something like that they want to do like a surprise no spoiler alert or something like that would be crazy but anyways man that's pretty much end of the video I just want to talk to you guys about this Space Jam movie and everything the sequel how you guys feel about it and you know like I said I was feeling like a lot of MJ heads man we were a little upset about it, but you know what man it's a new generation out there man it's okay let it go man you know we had our time and guess what? We had it back again with The Last Dance. And now they're coming out with this movie. You know, it's okay. Let the new generation have it, man. It's okay. It's time. Things pass. It's time. You guys already know MJ always have a legacy. And it's I think MJ, especially with the Jordan shoes, is always here forever. So that's one thing that we can never have to let go. So that's still be amazing. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop vids. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Chris on IG. Sometimes I'm on Twitter. And don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm Chris. Peace.